welcome guys today's video is going to be all about love dating and marriage in harvest life now let's be real there isn't too much to tell you only get two choices which is either the postman arthur or the postwoman whose name i completely forget but either way you only get two choices now, the first thing you have to do if you want to date one of them is you have to give them chocolate. Yes, it has to be chocolate, and that has to continue until their meter bar is full. The first time, it took three chocolate giftings, I believe. Pretty sure it was like three, but that's beside the point. Now, the next step is obviously the date, but before you can go on a date with them, you have to talk to them a second time. And they will say something along the lines of, oh, a date sounds like a great idea. But you have to talk to them again. You can't just give them the last chocolate, have the meter bar full, and go to the restaurant. It doesn't work. You have to talk to them another time. Then that will, of course, initiate the date at the restaurant, which the lady will ask you to gather up a bunch of things for her. And, yeah. Once you've gathered them all and taken them to her, you need to talk to the person you want to go on a date with again. And then it will automatically just transport you there and you'll have your cute little date or whatever. Eh, it was like, alright. Then, after which, doing that, after you do that, you have to refill the meter bar again. And that second time, it took four chocolates that I had to gift him before it was back up to that point. And then, before you can marry and move in with them, which I guess technically you only move in because there isn't any kind of marriage sequence or anything like that, yeah, you again have to go talk to them. And yeah, I mean, have to go talk to them one more time after the meter bar is full. And then they'll just move into you, move in with you, I mean, and they will stand there in this corner all day and all night and do nothing. They don't go to work anymore. They don't really do anything. They only have a couple things that they say. And that's about it. It's really not worth it. They won't even help you around on the farm or anything. They're just standing there all the time. Even when you go to bed, just watching when you, as you sleep, it's pretty creepy, to be honest. Definitely wouldn't recommend it unless you're trying to get the achievement. Now there's one last thing I want to talk about. So what if you were already dating or married or whatever, and you decide to try and gift the other available bachelor bachelorette a chocolate? Yeah, I tried that. It just doesn't work at all. There is no option to cheat. There is no option. Once you pick your person, you're going with them and that's it. You can't change your mind. So yeah, there you go. That's everything I think you need to know on harvest life love dating and marriage with the quotation marks because don't really feel like we're married because there wasn't even a marriage sequence which i definitely feel cheated on but you know oh well until next time guys 